are you in a situation of buying a hard disk and thinking whether can it work for Mac or Windows? Afraid not, in this video I'm going to share with you guys if you purchase wrongly, your hard disk still can work on Mac or PC. Hey yo what's up guys it's me Mr. Gim here and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another exciting unboxing for you guys which is the Western Digital Hard Disk 4TB. Although this is not a very new product, probably about 6 months old, this is just a normal hard disk, it's not the SSD so the speed wise it could be still very slow in this day or age. Why do I need to buy this? Well it's just for archive purposes because you don't need speed for archiving all you need is just to back up and you can actually save a lot of money by buying just a normal hard disk and before we even go in there let's check it out what's inside the box and over here right now I have it in my hand is the micro B USB 3.0 to USB A as you can see they are just using USB micro B it's not USB type C so in terms of speed is definitely going to affect and next in my hand i have the manual which nobody reads this day so we're just going to focus more on the actual product itself it's made out of plastic and there's two different finishing on the design itself looks kind of classy i would say and the size for this 4 terabyte is 107.2 mm in length and the height is 19.15 weighs around 210 gram and if you're thinking why is the depth so bulky it's because this is a 4 terabyte version and it's called my passport so the size won't be anything bigger than the passport size and it comes with four colors the standard black the blue red and also white Alright, here is something that you guys are waiting for and usually manufacturer will come a pre-installed app for you guys to see whether you guys want to install their app to your computer. Usually I won't do that because I don't want to fix my hard disk only able to use on this computer. I need to be versatile so I won't be installing the app for, for whoever who are interested and in going to use it as your permanent hard disk for your desktop devices. I will advise you to to probably download their app so it's easier for you to transfer file but we're just going to skip that because I'm, I'm teaching you another method on how you can use alternative way to use uh, your hard disk on a Mac computer and first step all you need to do is just to go under this utility once you're at this finder you'll be able to see a bunch of hard disks and make sure to select the correct hard disk before you click formatting because you won't want to have a miserable day by clicking on the wrong hard disk and lost everything because you misclick it. Once you selected the correct drive, click on the erase button, a pop-up menu will appear and that's where you select X Fat. If you get a warning sign, that's very common for Western Digital. So this step is very important. All you need to do is go under View and under View there is Show More Devices. Click on that. A drop down menu for each hard disk will appear. Select the WD My Passport and under WD My Passport there is My Passport Driver. Click on the driver and now you should be able to format it. There's actually two FAT there. So all you need to do is just to select EX FAT instead of another FAT and you should be good to go. There's a limitation to X FAT so the limitation will be anything a file that's larger than 4 gigabyte won't be able to capture to your driver what i mean by 4 gig is probably if let's say you have a movie that like that is 6 gig then that movie won't be able to go inside your driver and right now let's do a speed test on the hard disk itself whether is it a good hard disk to buy you can judge yourself the read speed and write speed is about 100 and 10 which is kind of not too bad for a hard disk for archive purposes that's about it all right guys if you have made it this far thank you so much for watching if this video brings you any value just click on the like button be my friend by clicking on the subscribe button and i will see you in my next video okay thanks bye